how this uh, alpha decay is happened see here here I am taking uranium 90 to 238 and uh, this decays into thorium thorium 90 234 and uh, which gives helium 24 nuclei this uh, helium 24 nuclei is called uh, alpha particle and uh, this uranium decays into thorium and releasing the alpha particle alpha particle this is called uh, alpha decay in this alpha decay this uranium 92 238 is called parent nuclei it is called uh, parent nuclei and uh, this is called uh, daughter nuclei daughter nuclei in this uh, parent nuclei for example the atomic uh, mass and atomic number of an element of x is a z x z a which gives which decays into alpha particle that is uh, which gives the alpha particle as y z minus 2 and uh, a minus 4 plus helium 24 this is a alpha particle here this is the alpha decay in this alpha decay this uranium 92 238 decays into thorium 90 234 plus helium 24 this helium 24 is the alpha particle like this is called a parent nuclei and this is called a daughter nuclei this x z a which gives y z minus 2 a minus 4 plus helium 24 this is the alpha decay now coming to beta decay here for this uh, beta decay we have example that is phosphorus 1532 here which gives uh, this phosphorus decays into sulfur 1632 here it gives this uh, electron and also anti neutrino this is called a uh, anti neutrino and uh, this is the electron this is minus 1 and mass number is 0 here this is the beta decay and uh, this is called a uh, beta minus decay and uh, in the beta plus decay sodium 11 and uh, 22 which gives which gives neon which gives neon 10 22 that is the same e plus here e plus this e plus is called positron this is called a positron which has same mass number as electron but the charge is different the charge is opposite to this electron and gives a one neutrino this is a beta plus decay here in this beta decay the phosphorus 1532 decays into sulfur 1632 which gives an electron and a plus anti neutrino and the sodium 1122 which gives neon 1022 plus one positron e plus this is called positron which has same mass number and uh, opposite to the charge of electron plus a neutrino this is called beta plus decay and this is a beta minus decay now coming to gamma decay this is a gamma decay in the gamma decay the photons the photons of energy is releasing when the nucleons when the nuclei is in the excited state and uh, from the excited state if the nuclei is coming to the ground states or uh, uh, the energy which is uh, coming to lower levels then it uh, emits the gamma uh, it emits the photons they are called uh, gamma radiations and uh, which gives the energy also for example in this here uh, cobalt 2760 this cobalt 2760 is coming to the lower energy levels here this 
cobalt 2760 coming to this energy level and also again it comes to the lower energies levels which gives 1.31 mega electron volts and also when it comes to the lower energy levels it gives 1.17 mega electron volts these uh, these photons coming from uh, these photons releasing having the energies these are called uh, gamma radiation this is gamma radiation this is gamma radiation and uh, finally which decays into nickel uh, nickel 26 into 26 60 that means here this cobalt 2760 decays into nickel 2660 that means in the gamma radiation in the gamma decay the nuclei is decays into either alpha decay and also gamma decay here in the gamma decay gamma decay when the nuclei is decay in uh, and uh, releasing the photons or releasing the energy like uh, gamma radiations then there is a possibility of decaying of alpha decay and uh, beta decays here this uh, cobalt 2760 is decayed into nickel 2660 then it gives the beta decay that is uh, e minus like this this is the gamma radiations and gamma decay here gamma decay cobalt 2760 gives the nickel 2660 by releasing the energy by emitting the gamma radiation these are the three types of rare decays we have now the radioactivity uh, we have to find the equation for the half life period and also decay For this uh, radioactivity, here n is the total number of nuclei. The total number of nuclei is n. Now, in this n number of nuclei, delta n number of nuclei are decaying. In the time delta t, in the time delta t, delta n number of nuclei are decaying. This uh, delta n by delta t is proportional to the time uh, is proportional to the total number of nuclei delta n by delta t is proportional to n this n is the total number of nuclei and uh, delta n means the number of nuclei decaying delta t time in the delta t time now if we remove this proportionality we'll get delta n by delta t is equal to lambda into n this lambda is called disintegration constant disintegration constant or decay constant lambda is called disintegration constant or decay constant this delta n by delta t is equal to lambda into n we can write as dn by dt is equal to minus lambda into n minus lambda into n why we are taking this uh, minus value means here the total number of nuclei is n in this delta n are decaying delta n number of nuclei are decaying and uh, n minus delta n number of nuclei are remaining that's why we are taking here negative dn by dt is equal to minus lambda into n now this dn by dt is equal to minus lambda n we can write dn by n is equal to minus lambda into t now on integrating on integrating both sides we get we get integration 1 by n dn is equal to minus lambda into integration t dt we'll get integration d uh, t dt we will get 
that means here uh, this uh, 1 by n dn is from n naught to n n naught to n here n naught is the number of nuclei at time t and n naught is the number of nuclei at time t is equal to 0 and uh, at time t naught to t i am taking now if we integrate this we will get 1 by n dn will get log n log n base e from n naught to n is equal to minus lambda into t from t naught to t now this so we can write log n base e minus log n naught base e is equal to minus lambda into t minus t naught this we can write log n by n naught base e is equal to minus lambda t where this t naught is equal to 0 then we can write this n by n naught is equal to e power minus lambda into t n by n naught is equal to e power minus lambda into t this we can write n is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t here this n is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t means n is the total number of particles and the total number of nuclei and n naught is the number of nuclei at time t now here this is the equation for radioactivity radioactivity k now for example if time t is equal to t by 2 if time t is equal to t by 2 that is uh, for the half time then the number of nuclei is decaying into half of the nuclei the number of nuclei decaying into half of the nuclei now if we substitute here in the place of n is equal to n by 2 and t is equal to t of in this equation see here n naught by 2 is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t of t of then this n naught n naught gets cancelled then 1 by 2 is equal to e power minus lambda t of this we can write 2 is equal to e power lambda t of by this we can write lambda t of is equal to log 2 base e this we can write t of is equal to log 2 base e by lambda is equal to 0 0.693 by lambda this is the t of value t of means of life period of life period or of life time this here of life time means the number of nuclei decaying into half of its initial value that is called half life period the time taken to uh, time, the time taken for the number of nuclei decaying into half of its uh, initial value half of its initial value then it is called uh, t of t of is equal to log 2 base e by lambda is equal to 0 0.693 by lambda this lambda is the decaying constant or uh, disintegration constant now this is the radioactivity here n is the total number of nuclei present and uh, delta n means the number of elements the number of nuclei decaying per time delta t is proportional to total number of nuclei then lambda is the disintegration constant here on integrating we will get n is equal to n naught e power minus lambda into t here half life period means the num the time taken for the nuclei decaying into half of its uh, initial value this is called uh, a radioactivity